one thought at a time. Greetings, everyone. This is Dr. Akina Finch. And this is Jessica. How's everyone doing tonight? Wow, great. You know, I would love to welcome you to Change Your Minds Online. Tonight's topic is It Starts Now. This is going to be a very interesting show because it's all about, I get to tell my story today and, you know, I haven't really told my story before and I'm super excited about it. Uh, What do you think about Jessica when someone tells you it starts now? You know, what I think is that a person has made an intention, they've made a decision, and that they're going to take action to make that decision come true. That's right. That's right. That's awesome. You know, um, that's exactly how I felt. Uh, My story started in January, and I really wasn't where I wanted to be. I always wanted to start my own business, and I always wanted to help people. And as an educator, of course, I do help people, but I wanted to help people on a larger scale and a different level. Uh, Once I changed jobs, I didn't really get to be with the people. I'm more with the uh, faculty and things, helping them, but... It's not the same as when you help the students and see the aha moments and the light bulbs come on, you know. And one day I was just staring in the mirror getting ready for work, and I looked in the mirror at myself, and I was just like, are you really happy with where you are right now? Can you do anything better with your life? that will make you into your ideal Akina. And I honestly really never asked myself that before. And I didn't like the answer. The answer was, of course, yes, I could do better. No, I'm not happy with where I am. So what am I going to do about it? I've said I'm not happy many times, but I never did anything about it. But this time it came with action. I looked at myself in the mirror and said, a year from now you will not be in the same place that you are right now, whether it be professional or whether it be personal. You are going to develop in this year of 2014. That day I walked to the gym, which is something I definitely do not do because I work from home. (laughs) So I usually am in my apartment. Most of the day. But I immediately walked to the gym, and I just started walking. And walking is like meditation to me when I'm exercising. That is my still time, my calm time. It clears my mind, and it clears my spirit. And a lot of different things start coming to the forefront. Like, I'm really going to do this this time. I really need this. I'm going to empower myself to make things better. And the more I walked, the more I started to sweat, because I'm a person that does not like sweat, I realized that it's time for me to put in the work. You know, I was the type of person that thought that things came easily to me because of my intellect and the things that I did, but in order to make me a better person, I was going to have to put in the work. I had taught a lesson one time about the remix. I, uh, we were talking about Jericho and talking about how Jericho was given to them, but they let it go away. But to get it back, they had to work for it. And that's the same thing about my weight loss in this instance and my development. I had let it all go. I'm the one that gained the weight. 
I'm the one that's not in the space that I'm in. I had all the tools at the beginning to do what I wanted to do, but I let it lapse. So now I have to put in work to get to where I want to get. Does that make sense, Jessica? Yeah, absolutely it does. And, you know, it's interesting you talk about this, Akina, because and, and for our listeners to know, Akina and I, we talk every day um, to plan these calls and to really just discuss how we can, um, you know, help our listeners. And we meditate and pray together on a regular basis, and we talk about books and we do all these readings and we study the Bible and we just have these fantastic discussions on some of the things that we talk about on these calls. And something interesting, and I think this is really relevant for today, and one of the things I can share is today I did a um, long, I did a uh, 50-mile bike ride. It took me four hours to do it. Um, I have a mountain bike. So for those of you listening who are athletes, that's why the time was so slow. But, um, you know, on a, you know, different note, one of the book I was actually listening to, and I listen to audiobooks all the time when I work out, and the book I was listening to today was The Law of Divine Compensation um, by Marianne Williamson. And it's very interesting because, Akina, it speaks so directly to what you were, um, what you're saying tonight. And, you know, this is something we hadn't discussed or planned, but The Law of Divine Compensation, I guess the thesis or the the thought behind this book is that we all have had some sort of past mistakes or failing, and a lot of it has to do with our mindset or the way we thought about a situation ourselves. And, you know, God always wants to give us love and always wants to send miracles our way, but we can't necessarily receive them when we're not in a state of love because, you know, God is love and, you know, the Course in Miracles teaches us that in order to receive miracles, we must be vibrating in a, in a state of love. And, you know, Akina, if your mindset was that you, previously, you know, prior to January when you made this choice, that you saw yourself as someone who was not healthy or you saw yourself as someone who was overweight, well, that's what you lived into. And it's interesting because this, this, you know, thesis behind this book was saying, well, you know what? The miracle, the blessings are there and they're waiting for us to receive them. They're waiting for us to be ready. And that, you know, if we let go, of the past guilt or the past negative thoughts and feelings or emotions, well, then at this very moment we can release it and receive the blessing and miracles that are intended to, to for us to receive, that we were intended to receive, that we were blocking before. And I think it's amazing because, you know, we're talking about it starts now, and I think this is so relevant to what you're saying, which is, hey, you know what, I'm ready for my miracle, I'm ready for my blessing, I'm ready to let it go, and God, where is my... Where is my miracle? So I think that's just amazing that, you know, we were right on track tonight, even though we hadn't really had that conversation. Yes, yes. You know, that's always been a main thing with me. Um, I My mother usually tells me that, you know, even though I'm a girl, uh, you know, in my personal life, in my business life, I operate like a man. <laughs> So I'm not really in, I'm not a real fluff person when I'm in, about my business. And this new development, as I am going through this weight loss and I'm going through this meditation, is bringing up a whole lot of things that I had suppressed many, many years ago. And I think that was the reason why. I never really succeeded at the beginning when I tried this times before. But when the issues start coming back up and surfacing, I wasn't in the right mindset to deal with them, so I just stopped. Because if I stopped, then the issues would stop. I could suppress them. I could go back to where I was. But I wasn't happy and I wasn't whole. But I realized, that part of it starts now is that I have to deal with everything, the good and the bad. The good, I will lose some weight. The bad, I have to deal with some issues that I had suppressed many years ago. If I did it at the beginning when it happened, then I wouldn't have to be dealing with it now. But that's okay because this was my time to deal with it. 
and I have to realize that. And that's one of the things that I am letting go, a lot of self-guilt. You know, oh, I didn't make this choice. I didn't make that choice. I didn't go this route. I didn't go that route. But guess what? I am at the spot that I needed to be to get my breakthrough. And that is why I'm really releasing right now. And I'm really in the transition phase right now. I know that it's only going to get better. As I learn the tools to deal with the issues that put me in the spot that I am right now, I am going to be better. And guess what? I'm going to be okay. And so each time that something surfaces, that's when I go into my meditation time. That's when I go read. That's when I go talk it out with somebody. I don't have to deal with it by myself. And that was very important that I learned that. Because that, as an introvert, you think you have to deal with everything by yourself, and that's not the case. There are many people in your circle that are willing and want to help, but you don't ever let them in to help you. And I'm speaking about me, and I, uh, you know, and that's usually an introvert trait, but I am personally speaking about me. I didn't let people in that wanted to come in, and now... I am ready to let them in. I am ready to ask for help. It is not a bad thing to ask for help. And then it's not a bad thing to ask for forgiveness either. There's a lot of things that I'm going to have to forgive my, uh, be forgiven for and to forgive because my actions at the time when I was dealing with it may have not been the right way. Things I did in the past may have not been the right way. But that's all a part of the healing process. That's all the part of the transformation. I will not be the same person I was when I started 2014 in January 2015. It's not an option. Failure is not an option. It starts now. And if I can do it, a deep introvert who holds all kinds of things in, I know you can do it too. Yeah, Akina, I just want to really just thank you and commend you for sharing this with us and just, you know, opening yourself up and being vulnerable. And I know that there is this call as being, you know, there's a lot of people on the call now listening live, and, you know, it'll be downloaded hundreds of times and, you know, all over the world. And, you know, there are so many people that are hearing, you know, this right now. And, you know, we want you to know, and the reason why we open up like this, and Akina, thank you for, for doing that, you know, is because it's possible to change. And we don't know exactly what you're going through, but Akina and I both have been to a place of low and stood up and said, I'm going to pick myself up and I'm going to make it better. And, you know, tonight is all about really just a catalyst for change and figuring out what is your catalyst for change. And, you know, it starts with forgiveness. I mean, forgiveness is big. It's huge. You know, there is, you know, the Bible tells us that lightness and darkness can't exist in the same place. In the same way, you know, every action we take either moves us towards our goal or away from it. You know, we can't be victims and victors in the same place. So if we walk around saying someone else did something bad to me, or maybe you just we walk around with this horrible guilt about past decisions we've made, if we don't let it go, we're victims. If we don't release it, if we don't forgive ourselves, if we don't forgive others, then we're victims. And you can't have victory and be a victim. It's not possible. Just like lightness and darkness can't coexist. Well, being a victim and being a victor, you can't have both. So if you want to have victory, if you want to have change, you have to come from a place of forgiveness. And many people say, well, you know what, forgiveness is weak, and it just lets this person win. It's not true. I mean, the only person who loses is, you know, when you, and this is actually coming right from that book that I was reading today, The Divine, you know, um, The Divine Law Compensation, that the only person who loses when you, when you hold on to anger is you. And, in fact, you're actually letting, when you are angry, you're letting the people who hurt you win because you're letting that anger block you from receiving blessings and you're letting that anger block you from being a creator. 
And, you know, last week we spoke about this, and we spoke about it before, and, and we're going to continue to speak about it because it's just so important. You know, it doesn't matter what has happened in your life. It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter what anybody did to you. It doesn't matter what previous bad habits were. It doesn't matter what someone's uh, perceptions of you were. None of that stuff is relevant to who you can become. Now, because of the fact that we are powerful, because every decision that we've made has created the life we live, then we can create anything. We can be anyone. And anything that happened bad in the past, that doesn't need to define us. We choose if we want to bring that forward into our future existence. But that is our choice. And we can say today, hey, it starts now. A new life starts now. I'm going to I'm going to change. You know, I'm going to create something different. And, you know, Keenan and I both went through this process. And, you know, a year ago today was about when I started my transformation. And, you know, I've committed to being a little better every single day than I was, you know, the day before. And I devote personally a minimum, uh, and typically more, but a minimum of two hours a day to personal development. I read on average, and I, by reading, I mean I listen to audiobooks. I'm doing a lot of intensive training right now for the marathon I'm training for. So I'm, I'm dri- I drive in the car all the time. I listen to audiobooks, probably three to four, sometimes more books per week that I'm listening to on the topic of personal growth and transformation. And, you know, I've listened to these books from all these various different thoughts and ideas, and every one of them says the same thing. You know, we are a sum of our thoughts. You know, your internal mindset is just so important. And I like the fact, that Keenan, that you say you, you go to meditation, you go to prayer, you go to someone you trust, and you speak about, you know, and about how to make yourself feel happy. It is so important because... The way that you think about who you are, the way that you think about, you know, what's going on in your life, well, that's what you're going to wind up creating. And, you know, it does, it can start now. No matter what is happening in your life, no matter how bad the situation seems, you can say today is the day I'm going to change. And, you know, oftentimes it's not when we're in a good place a transformation comes. Sometimes God needs to knock us on our knees. You know, sometimes if, if, if sometimes if everything was going perfect, we would never fall. And if we weren't on, if we didn't fall down, we couldn't get on our knees, and He couldn't help us back up. But I know that I was at a place, and, and similar to Kina, it started off with transferring my physical health. And Kina and I both um, used the same nutrition system that was able to help us to to lose weight and just really help our internal mindset. But, you know, it's, you have to take care of you, you know, whether or not that means for you eating more healthy or whether if you need to lose weight in, you know, um, getting yourself on some sort of great nutrition. You know, Keen and I are happy to share what we're doing. You know, at the end, we'll give our email. You can email us, you know, or that means just exercising or sleeping more. You know, if, if maybe you're sleeping three hours a night, four hours a night, that's not healthy. That doesn't serve you. That has to stop. You know, you have to take care of you physically. And you have to take care of you mentally. And when those two things happen, you you come from a place of power. You know, does that make sense, Akina? Yes. Yes, it makes perfect sense because during, as I was growing in my professional realm, I was suffering in my personal realm. Um, I put more focus on the professional and I was up at the early dawn, and I didn't go to sleep till, you know, midnight, maybe, 1 o'clock. And that wasn't good. I was grabbing fast food whenever I could get it, or I was skipping meals. Once again, not good. I wasn't taking vacations. I wasn't going out and doing things that I thought was fun. In fact, if anything in the schedule that was conflicting, it would always I would always get rid of the thing that was personal and not and always handle the professional. And eventually I basically became my job. And that wasn't good either. You know, when that's one of the things that I was working with when I started my meditation. How many birthday parties, how many family gatherings, how many uh 
events I missed because I was so engulfed in my career. Yes, do I love what I do? Absolutely. Am I going to always love and, you know, work hard? Yes, I, uh, that's what I do. But I had to realize that my personal self and well-being was important too. I was not my job. I am Ikena. Ikena needs a work-life balance. So Ikena had to go and get a work-life balance. I had to start doing things for me. As I started working, the weight started coming. Uh, I became more isolated. Now I'm exercising more. I'm meditating more. I'm going out with my friends more. I am reading more. I am actually uh, going to start uh, writing more, you know, uh, and doing things that make me feel accomplished as an individual. Self-care is so important, and I had completely missed the boat on self-care, completely missed it. I didn't even understand it. That's how bad I was. But now I'm realizing that Ikea needs to be taken care of, just like a job, just like anything else. And that's why this call is so important to me, because... I can help somebody else is doing the same thing before they get as deep as I was, before they get as sad as I was, before they get as stressed as I was, before they get as unhappy as I was. I want to help somebody else get to their greater quicker. We're all going to get to our greater. All we have to do is set our mind to it. You know, there are steps that I am taking. You know, I put the vision board out there. You know, that's the first thing I did. You always have to have a focal point. Look at your goals visually and on tape. And keep yourself accountable. I post mine on on my blog, on my website, and sometimes I post on Facebook as well. I didn't know how many people were motivated by my story. I just thought that I was just posting to make myself feel better. But sure enough, people started following my posts. They started following my blog. And that makes me feel good because I'm not on the journey alone. They're on the journey with me. They actually asked, did you work out today? Did you have your water? You know, that is so awesome to me. You know, I can't, I was that person who thought they were invisible. And now I have people posting to me daily, checking on me to make sure I'm okay. And some of these people I have never even met before in person. But they check on me because they care, because I put it out there. And I let them into my struggle and into my existence. And guess what? The opposite of what I thought was going to happen, happened. Somebody cared. Somebody reached out. Somebody is in my corner. I never thought that was going to happen. And that is one of the things that you'll learn from once you start your transformation. You get your vision out there. Then you make yourself accountable. Then you start engulfing yourself in what it is you want to do. If you want to lose weight, start listening to people who have lost weight. Start um, getting a weight loss magazine coming to your house. Start getting some healthy recipe magazines coming to your house. Then start writing about it. Get it out. All of the things that you're doing, it may actually become a blog or something that's going to help somebody else. But in the meantime, get it out of you. It's not doing anything uh, good inside you. It needs to come out. So you got to get it out. Whether you get it out, you know, through, you know, some people get it out through singing. Some people get it out through art. Some people get it out through writing. Whatever it is, get it out. You don't need it. You don't need all that old feeling. You need to get them out, you know. Then make peace in your heart. If there's people you know you need to make peace with, make peace with them. 
If it's people you need to forgive, forgive them. If it's things that you want to go back and change, change them. And if you can't change it, stop making yourself feel guilty about it. Because you're okay. And it's okay. Because it was in your life to make you the person that you are today, to make you a stronger individual group, because whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger. You needed that experience in your life. So let the guilt go. You don't need it. So let it go. Does that make sense, Jessica? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just, you know, I think you just said it so well. And, you know, there's there's little I can add to it. I think you just did a fantastic job in just really communicating to us and communicating to our listeners. You know, you do have to just let it go, release it. You know, every person in our life, when they're not the did something for us that was positive or negative, either way we can learn from our interaction with them. And when we forgive them and when we love them, more than just, I mean, forgiveness is is great, but take it a step further and just send love their way. When you send love into the world, you receive love back. And, Akina, that's why I think you're receiving so much love from sharing your story on Facebook because you were just such a, a beautiful and loving, caring person. And, you know, that's why I think that, you know, we've been very blessed and, you know, for everyone listening to this call, we're just so thankful for you that when Akina and I started this podcast, you know, we had no idea um, how quickly it would take off that, you know, now we've had over a 1,000 downloads in the last month on our, our website, and we're just so thankful for everyone. And, you know, it really is, it does come to love. It comes down to love. You know, we are so thankful for you guys. We are so, we have so much love for you. And Akina, I just, that's, I think, why you're receiving that love in return. So there's one thing I want to just add is just, you know, choose love today. Choose forgiveness today. And choose today to start the rest of your life. And, you know, if there's anything you want to ask, either Akina or I, you know, we love receiving emails and, and, and questions if you want to ask us about some of the books we recommend or what are we doing or reading. You know, we're happy to share with, with you some of our favorite books. I know we got in, someone asked me the other day, you know, what what are some books I can, you know, recommend for a specific situation she was going through. Or if you want to know how we lost weight and got healthy, you know, we're open to talking about that as well and what we're doing. You know, uh, and that information is contact us at changingmindsonline.com. Um, and, you know, go onto our website, changingmindsonline.com. You know, we'd love to hear your comments and feedback as well on the post and are on our calls. But um, yeah. I think you said everything that needs to be said, Akina. I think uh, I think you covered this topic really well tonight. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. I I want to say one last thing. Forgiveness is not easy. It's not easy. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. In fact, I'm dealing with it myself. But I know that it needs to happen. And so I'm going to make it happen because my health and my well-being is more important than me being worried about forgiving somebody. And that's the same thing for you. You are more important than the guilt and the anger and the frustration and the incident. You are more important. So don't hold that inside. Let it go. Release it. I promise you'll feel better. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And if you'd like to see the blog that I was talking about, you're most welcome to follow us on Facebook and uh, check it out. We would really love for you to hear your comments on it. Thank you so much, Jessica. All right, thank you, guys. Everyone, God bless. Have a great night, and thanks again for everyone who listened to this call. Um, just one more time, if you want to hear it again, um, you can find us on iTunes, on Podomatic, and on our website, changingmindsonline.com, as well as blog, blog chat radio, blog talk radio, right, blog talk radio. Um, all right, thank you, everyone. Have a great night. God bless. Good night, everyone.